A man in Florida gets three years for Jamaican-based lottery scam. Victims reportedly sent more than $100,000 to Shaw, who sent a portion of the money to Jamaica. A South Florida man has been sentenced to three years in prison in connection with the operation of a Jamaica-based fraudulent lottery scheme, the Department of Justice announced yesterday. Claude Shaw, 49, of Miramar, Florida, was also ordered by U.S. District Court Judge William P. Dimitrulis to pay $128,440 in restitution and will have three years supervised release. Shaw pleaded guilty on March 22 to one count of mail fraud in the Southern District of Florida. As part of his guilty plea, Shaw acknowledged that, from September 2013 to August 2015, he participated in a scheme to defraud victims in the United States and unlawfully enrich himself. Today's sentencing demonstrates the Justice Department's commitment to combating foreign-based lottery fraud schemes targeting individuals in the United States, said Acting Assistant. Attorney General, Chad A. Redler of the Justice Department's Civil Division. Financial schemes designed to defraud unsuspecting victims will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. As part of the scheme, victims throughout the United States received telephone calls in which they were falsely informed that they had won more than $1 million in a lottery and needed to pay money in advance to claim the winnings. The victims were instructed on how and to whom to send the money, including being instructed to send the money to shore. Victims sent more than $100,000 to Shaw, who then forwarded a portion of the money to Jamaica. Victims never received any lottery winnings. The Postal Inspection Service will continue to actively investigate fraudulent lottery schemes based in Jamaica, which are directed at ripping off victims in the United States, said Inspector in Charge Antonio J. Gomez, of the U.S. Postal Inspection Service's MIAM 5I Florida Division. Lottery scams tied to Jamaica are targeting victims in the United States, and we will do all we can to put an end to the deceptive practice.